Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Crystalline's Crystal Clear Visions, where y'all know I use my visions, tarot, oracle, music, movies, dreams, whatever, to get us messages from the Most High, from our ancestors, from the angels, our guides, our loved ones here and passed over. Y'all know they like to bring us messages of encouragement. They like to help us get past any blockages, and I'm going to keep it a book, y'all, sometimes. They like to let us be just a little bit nosy, okay? So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, your shares. Thank you to everyone who has booked your readings, booked your healing sessions. Those of you who donate to the channel, those of you who, who visit my Shopify store and make purchases through there. I appreciate each and every last one of you guys and everything you do to help me and my channel grow, okay? Please, please keep it up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to know how to get down with the get down, you can check the description box. There's links to get in touch with me. Okay, in order to visit my shop of fire to book your readings. Okay, so check that out if it interests you. So let me first start this video off by saying it is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So please use discernment, okay, as you view each video, all right? Y'all know I am a, a healer, a medium. Um, I also do the tarot. I'm a psychic medium, all that good stuff, okay? So I do incorporate all of those things into my video. So of course, y'all know I like to start my videos off with that Reiki healing, okay? So today I said I was going to do something a little bit different, okay? I was going to clear the energy with my bells and then go into the Reiki healing energy, okay? Um, what I love about Reiki is that it is a very intelligent energy so it goes where you need it to go where you need it in your body on an energetic level okay it helps to balance out your chakras it helps to get you in alignment it helps to move the energy get the energy flowing when there are blockages things of that nature okay so that is the the benefits of reiki so if you don't know a lot about it, i definitely would say recommend researching more into it okay because a lot of things happen on an energetic level before they manifest into a into the regular level <coughs> excuse me <coughs> all right so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna clear the energy with the bells and then we'll get into the reiki all right so let's go So that cleared and calmed the energy, okay? So now what I'm going to get you guys to do is say that you're open to accepting this energy. You can say it out loud or you can say it in your head. Then you're going to close your eyes with me. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And one more big deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. All right. You should definitely be feeling nice and relaxed, okay? Um, you may feel a tingling within your body you may not feel anything at all and it's okay because it is like i said intelligent energy and it takes a little while to get used to that energy flow through your body okay so <clears throat> just keep at it you know click on another video once this video ends to get you some more um of that healing energy or book your readings or you can join my membership channel where i do a free um session uh once a month okay so those are the three options you have to tap into that reiki healing energy okay um i hope you guys are enjoying it as much as i am enjoying placing it in the videos okay 
All right, so it's going to continue to flow through me as I read to you guys. Um, once I start finish the reading, then I will end the um, session. And of course, I told you how you can um, get you some more of that if you need it, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. Y'all know this is my Law and Order deck. I use it uh, as puzzle pieces for possible crimes that may have taken place, okay? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is a general reading. You know, the only way to get a more um, accurate, precise reading would be to book a reading. Um, of course, you can do that in the link below, okay? So enjoy, okay? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let's get on. I just saw death spells. So ooh, somebody could have been on death spells, doing death spells, paying people to do death rituals, things of that nature. All right. So Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, gods, thank you. <laughs> Give us what y'all want to crack the code on today. Anything else y'all want to thank you. All right. So rape wanted to flip over. So someone may have tried to attempt to um, rape someone here. We also have testified. So someone could have to testify against someone who tried to rape them here. OK, we have arm here. OK, someone could have grabbed someone's arm and tried to take off with them. We have on the run. So someone could be on the run here. We have law of gender, masculine and feminine, feminine balance. OK, so this could be someone needing to get some sort of balance, bring some sort of healing here. OK, we have staff. So someone could have been stabbed in the arm here and somebody's on the run for that. We have white collar crime here. It says fraud, bribery, embezzlement, cyber crime, credit card fraud, extortion. So someone's on the run from some sort of white collar crime that they may have committed here. Okay. <clears throat> they could have um, some sort of stab wound on their arm here. Okay, this person could be on the run because they're needing to testify against someone who may have committed a white collar crime. We have karma here. So someone is receiving karma here, okay? Things are balanced out. So someone took the time to balance out their masculine feminine energy to get some healing here and they're um, bringing in good karma, okay? Those people who chose to not balance out that energy, um, they are receiving negative karma at this time, okay? We have celebrities. So someone could be a celebrity. There could be a celebrity that's about to get stabbed in the arm here. Um, we also have child support here, okay? So someone could be on the run. Um, um, for child support as well as white collar crimes here okay um, and someone definitely could be testifying here okay so let's see what is going on where are my cards I'm gonna use what I got up here so this is it. <laughs> all right oh, I, I want to pull some zodiacs okay so this should be able to help us, you know, tell what zodiacs this may um this may seem to mesh well more with. Okay, again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Cut in the deck, I got Sagittarius, and I also have Aries here. So um heavy fire sign energy here. Someone could be um <clears throat> we are um, card number nine here and card number one. So that talks about new beginnings here. So someone is definitely going through some sort of transformation here. Okay. Um, the Sagittarius is usually the wounded warrior here. Okay. So this is someone who, um, who has what they call, this would be the, the wounded heart here. Okay. So someone who, who tends to attract people, um, or they're needing to heal themselves through a wound here or heal some sort of wound here okay um in order to get some sort of new beginning okay some sort of new passionate beginning so this is definitely something dealing with a lot of passion here this could be someone that could also be very stubborn this would be someone who is gaining a lot of knowledge here or needing to gain some more knowledge on a situation but let's see what pops out okay whatever pops out is going to be more likely the sign that this is going to be geared toward okay so who do we have here spirit wait a minute <laughs> Who do we have here, Spirit? Thank you. So Leo here, fire signs, definitely. We got all three of the fire signs. So um, this is going to resonate more with the fire signs. The Leo could be going through this. Leo is also just someone, um, Leo talks about strength here. Um, it is card number five and five talks about change. And I did say 
transformation. So someone is going through a transformation here. So there could be a Leo here on the run. There could be a Leo here that is gaining some sort of courage here. This would be someone who is going through a dark night of the soul energy here. Um, Leo also talks about um, popularity. So this is definitely um, someone who gives off star vibes here. Okay, someone who likes to be the center of attention here. Oh, any other signs? Anybody else here? This could be a Leo that needed to balance their masculine and feminine energy here, okay? <clears throat> Anybody else, Spirit? Last shuffle. Anybody else, Spirit? All right, well, bottom of the deck. I see the sun here, which again, sun rules Leo. So, card number 13, which is uh, death, which is transformation. So, there's definitely some transformation. Some enlightenment that a Leo is about to go through here. Um, we also have Aquarius here, um, a card number 11, which talks about justice. Aquarius is an air sign here. So, it's going to be someone in their head here doing a lot of thinking here. But let's see what's going on. So, this is going to center, like I said, mostly focused on Leo. Strong fire signs in this reading here. So, it's going to resonate more with fire signs. And it can be anywhere in this person's chart here, okay? But I'm definitely getting Leo sun sign, okay? All right, Spirit, what is going on in this situation? Thank you. So we have eight of swords. Listen, I said this. Somebody is trapped in their head. Okay. Um, this is someone who is doing a lot of thinking here. Okay. This is someone who is doing so much thinking that they're sabotaging themselves here. They're causing unneeded, uh, um, what do you call it? Mountains, blockages, obstacles in their way here. Okay. This is someone who needs to do a little bit, have a little bit more action here. Okay. Um, again, Leo is someone who prepares. Okay. They, um, they tend to be very passionate about things, but they like to prepare things as well here. Okay. This is someone who likes to go to war. This is someone who likes to, um, again be the center of some sort of attention here but this person here is in their head here they're stuck here with this eight of swords here card number 32 going through a five so this is someone going through the dark night of the soul they're gaining a lot of information here they could um have a lot of obstacles in their way at this time here again they're gaining or getting karma for not balancing themselves out not balancing a situation out here we have the ace of swords i'm sorry ace of wands which talks about new passionate beginnings here so someone had the opportunity to choose a route to go here okay this person is um not sure of which way to go here because they are refusing to see things clearly here okay they are refusing to um face their obstacles here they're refusing to um face themselves here okay and so this could have caused this person to go down the wrong path here okay um and again this person is on the run so they're running from themselves running from their fears here okay again this person could be um being watched or being um <clears throat> Some, there could be some illumination coming to possibly white collar crimes that they may have been um, involved in, as well as this person um, may be having to pay child support. They may be having some sort of custody battle or something to that extent going on at this time here. We have the two of cups here. So yeah, this is like a relationship here. Okay. I'm um, definitely getting heavy masculine energy. Doesn't have to be. It just could be a person, a female that's in her masculine, um, heavy in her masculine energy, which again is an imbalance here. So someone was refusing, refusing to balance themselves out here. <clears throat> especially when it came to relationships here okay and then card number 19 which 19 is the sun here so someone's um relationships are being illuminated okay they're taking a closer look at their relationships um they're possibly realizing that they may have made the wrong decision when it comes to a relationship they went down the wrong path here and again it was because this person was refusing to um take a look at themselves and balance themselves out and so now they're going through this karma here okay um for choosing the wrong direction here okay yeah we have these six of swords 
So this is a, someone doing a lot of thinking here. Okay, the Six of Swords talks about moving on from drama to calmer waters here, okay? Then we have the mouse here, okay? And mouse mice represent, um, <clears throat> sometimes they can be someone snitching. So someone could have told on this person about the crimes that they were a part of. Someone could have been trying to yeah, I see someone, yeah, we just saw, I said testify. I was just going to say, I see someone testifying against someone in court with card number 29, which is justice here, um, and clearing uh, up a situation here. So there could be a Leo that is, that's going to testify um, <clears throat> against someone or someone could be testifying against this Leo, okay? But again, it is to bring about some sort of mental clarity here, okay? So someone's mental capacity is also being question here okay within a situation here someone is realizing that they may have again chose a relationship um and it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship they can just be this could just be someone who is getting clarity on a lot of the relationships in their life and how it equates to them and how the karma that they are going through okay we have the two of wands so this is someone who's turning their back on a situation to move forward this is a journey that someone has gone on or is embarking on here okay someone is is again they are they've been journey, journeying for a while here okay and now this person has come to a crossroad where it's like they have to make a decision um to either continue the route that they've been taking or to take a new route here okay so this person is kind of like at a crossroads here on which way to go okay especially when it comes to ending some sort of cycle here okay possibly a cycle of self-sabotage here a cycle of always being um in mess in drama here so someone is wanting to end some drama here or you know someone could be deciding to continue on with the drama but either way they're going to reap karma for whatever decision that they have made or are intending to make here okay and we have the seven of wands which talks about blockages here this person could be feeling blocked here um this person could be causing their own blockages this could be someone that is causing blockages for other people as well here okay and they are re receiving karma for this okay <clears throat> for these blockages that they may have try to cause for someone else okay or again someone could be receiving karma for blockages that they may have caused um for others here we have the two of of pentacles here which talks about juggling here okay so someone again has some sort of decision to make we got uh two twos out here um depending uh or decision dealing with relationships and decisions dealing with money here okay so and there is the masculine and feminine energy here. So this could apply to either one. But I do feel as though there is a feminine energy that may have some sort of secret here with the moon. And then there is a masculine energy here that may expose this secret. So again, take it how it resonates because um, feminine and masculine doesn't have to be male and female. Okay, so um, it's just whoever has is harnessing more or than the other energy because you both have both energies, right? So there is someone here that um <clears throat> may be more in their feminine energy here that is holding on to some sort of secret here um it could be secret about money it could be a secret about them trying to juggle and balance something out here okay this could be a couple here that may be on the run here a celebrity couple that could be on the run here um again they may be gaining some sort of karma for blocking someone here okay blocking someone from moving on blocking someone from making healthy choices for themselves here and then with the sun and the moon i have cancer and leo here so there could be a cancer involved in this situation as well again doesn't have to be okay we have the ace of cups and this deck is my false love um false love um card here so someone um again like i said there was some some light shed on a relationship here we got two court cards here so someone could definitely um be in court um, or have some sort of contractual obligation um, to a relationship or some sort of contractual working relationship here okay and again someone is gaining getting karma because someone tried to block someone someone was also not truthful so they did not hold up their end of the bargain when it comes to um, said relationships or said journey that someone had taken here okay one more spirit what else is thank you so we have 
the king of swords and for me the king of swords is also a police officer here another card of 11 with 47 so we got three 11s here okay um so 11 again is about balance it could be about court it could be about court documents binding contracts okay um there's definitely a wife here okay so there is something dealing with marriage here someone could be gaining um information on someone's marriage or on a wife in a marriage here okay um again i said there was some sort of secret here that may come out there could be a secret when it comes to a child there's a secret here when it comes to someone showing false love here um there's a secret here as well as someone getting some sort of karma okay Okay, for not balancing out a situation it was an unbalanced relationship here okay someone may have gotten upset and stabbed somebody in the arm here okay and again there's someone here testifying so you have the nine of pentacles okay um pentacles are about money they're about tangible things here so this could be gifts it could be something that you invest in okay it brings about tangible assets right and the nine talks about transformation so someone could be transformed their money here transforming their investments here okay this would be someone that is now focusing on themselves focusing on balancing themselves out this could be someone that's focusing on their health especially when it comes to their heart and their blood here okay card number 39 breaking down to 12 so that's the hangman so this is someone has gotten some sort of enlightenment on a situation but they haven't made any progress to move in this situation okay so this is someone that is, is at the very early stages of um, um, building themselves, taking care of themselves, um, learning about themselves when it comes to um, money, okay, when it comes to um, <clears throat> the tangibility of this world here, okay, the tangible things in this world. So let's see what else is going on. Someone could have stabbed somebody before they went on a trip or someone could have stabbed somebody on a trip, okay, or wounded someone. They didn't necessarily have to stab this person. So something could have happened on a trip where someone was wounded. Again, this could be a celebrity that this happened to. Definitely heavy Leo, heavy fire sign vibes here, okay. Um, fire and air sign vibes here, okay. But we do have everybody on the board here. So we have lilies here, okay? Lilies are usually about, um, again, new beginnings. Lilies also speak about... Um, let me see what lilies are. I always get kind of confused when I see that one. 30. It's also card number 30, which talks about um three which three is about um alignment three is also the feminine energy lilies represent feminine energy it says calm peace and serenity is which i what i preach your parents and elders show up under my symbol i bring wisdom and experience i signify a long-term relationship or ancestry contentment and satisfaction in my angle so again there is someone here that is getting good karma here okay this person may be looking at a feminine energy wanting to go towards this person they see this person as peace here this person has helped them overcome blockages so they're wanting to go and offer some sort of contract here okay um again this person could be on the run though to do look into that type of situation here okay but then there's also a situation where there's a relationship that is falling apart okay three could signify a third party situation and we do have stabbed here which i said someone is feeling wounded here okay so someone may have realized that they were dealing with a third party situation this person is feeling hurt here okay and this is their karma it says the lily from a pagan view is symbolic of sexuality and passion but also of purity it can also symbolize motherhood as a result these calm looking flowers with their glass and gray background reflect a range of interpretation they are both growing and yet eternally captured in smooth glass without any of their essence shows the two sides of this card we might suggest that they are a range of excitement sexual nurturing or the absence of excitement and chastity as the card these lilies make the cards about them pure simple or excite their nature so this is a feminine energy i did say that right a feminine energy here that is going through some sort of transformation i keep saying that didn't i
<clears throat> so this could be um someone also learning um the truth when it comes to family as well it's not just like i said it's, it doesn't have to be um a romantic relationship it's just someone is realizing um the karma that comes with um, holding on to things that are meant to be let go of, okay? Um, holding on to and trying to block things out, okay? Um, someone is realizing their position within a family here, okay? <clears throat> How their family truly sees them here. We also have another King of Swords, which is here at the bottom of the deck. So that, with all these court cards, someone's definitely being investigated here um, for some white-collar crimes that they may have participated in, okay? And this has this person thinking about going on the run, or this person is on the run here, okay? What else is going on here? So we have car number 27, okay? This looks like some sort of contract here. So uh, like I said, someone is going to court for some sort of contract. Someone may be having to pay child support. Someone may be going to jail for unpaid child support here. Um, someone has written or expressed some sort of message or could want to bring forth some sort of message here when it comes to some sort of transformation here something that is about to change here okay we have a masculine energy here this is a the um so this could be a masculine energy and then it has the ace of cups down here so this is the negative masculine energy here because he's all scuffed up he's looking like he's been in some sort of battle here he's been in some sort of fight here so this person could have been in some sort of competition here with someone here and this competition could be coming to an end with this 28 breaking down to 10 here um this person again their feelings scorned or wounded when it comes to false love here okay so this person may have found um something that would have changed this person's life here okay so this person is realizing that they are they've been in a family of karmics possibly here um again they're seeing their family the the relationships that they've built here they're seeing um the obstacles they're reminiscing on the past um and and i either trying to heal balance out a wound here okay or this is what is going to come about from this situation here or they are trying to um again just see the people that they need to let go of here okay or this can just be a family situation that has someone trapped here okay um someone could be being trapped by again a child here okay and this person may receive some sort of documentation here with this letter um that is going to cause them to move forward here with this ace of wands into a new direction here okay um again they are whatever this news is okay about this relationship with this two of cups whatever they found out about this re relationship whatever has been brought into enlightenment here it has this person again feeling disheveled it has this person feeling you know heartbroken wounded here okay um with the arm you know your arm is where your your heart center is okay it's like in the middle of your arms right so this person is heartbroken here about some type of um news that they've received it could be an ending to some sort of contract here it could be um them having to pay um child support or it could be them finding out that a child is not theirs okay so i've been having that come up a few times in my readings lately okay but again someone is definitely seeing um how their family life their ideas of family life have affected them whether it was growing up or whether it was the people that they chose they're realizing um the truth when it comes to the path that they chose to go on and i told you there was some sort of false love here okay we got two foxes here so there were up to two people that was around this person that was very deceitful to this man masculine energy here okay and there could be some balance that's coming in when it comes to that yeah because card number 14 is justice or no 14 is temperance so this person is getting some sort of balance here okay and then with the nine of wands over here at the bottom of the deck that taught I me mean, at the bottom of the card the nine of wands is again um the wounded warrior so i did see that when i had pulled out the sagittarius so someone is having to work through some sort of wound it could be a childhood wound that caused them to choose um 
karmic relationships or um, to engage more with kar karmic people, okay, because they didn't, this could be someone who did not know a lot about karma here, okay, but they are definitely seeing the um, wolves in, in, that were trying to um, cause them blockages here, okay, and this person is being guided to move away from these wolves here, okay, with this six of swords here, okay, by doing this, they're going to have to testify against someone that they may possibly have and hold a lot of love for okay or there could be someone that is going to express to this person the deceitful people that are around them okay because if you see this fox in the background here there's a rooster here okay so someone could have again wanted to cause someone blockages because we did see that or someone to um they were trying to sacrifice someone here okay someone may realize that their family was trying to sacrifice them and now they're having to move away from this family here okay um <clears throat> Yeah, because with all these trees, okay, family, trees represent family, okay, so someone is realizing, you know, that the people that they could have grown up around could have gave them these toxic beliefs and identities, okay, and they're being guided to move to karma water here, okay, so with this on the run, that's just giving me, this is somebody that's needing to move here, they're needing to get away from, um, this family or whoever these people this karmic situation is okay so someone is is really if they didn't believe in karma before they're believing in it now because things are being um enlightened okay Br brought to enlightenment yeah we have card number 24 here okay um 24 breaks down to six which six is the lovers um and this could also be someone having to make a choice in a relationship we do have the two of wands which talks about making a choice to move forward to end something so someone may have to make it is needing to make a choice to move towards a more harmonious balanced relationship be it with someone else or be it within themselves okay someone is being guided to get some sort of healing here okay page of cups this is someone being guided to express some sort of emotions as well here um that they may be going through at this time so this is someone who um may even come there could be a masculine energy that is going to reach out to a feminine energy here and express some emotions i do see that here okay but this person there's again um a level of someone not being honest here but it's not going to be for everybody so take that how it resonates what else for this seven of wands here again there was someone someone could be finding out that someone tried to block them from a relationship as well okay block them from working with someone from bonding with someone here we have card number 17 17 is what 16 is the devil 17 no 16 is the tower 17 is the star so again this is some healing here okay so i told you somebody tried to block someone with the seven of wands from healing here okay or someone needs to block out other people so that they can completely heal from this imbalance that they've been going through okay um the queen of cups here so this is someone needing to trust their intuition more here this is someone needing to nurture themselves here a little bit more as well here it's also like a someone needs to um learn some new lessons here as well learn from from like-minded individuals here okay so this is someone needing to um get closer to their soul tribe here okay this is someone needing to build their own um family here yeah we have the um fish here the school of fish someone is definitely in need of learning some new information here we have the king of pentacles so this is a masculine energy that um knows how to manifest into their reality tangible things so this could be like a business owner someone who is money is easy to come by okay this could be also someone who enjoys fishing here okay um i'm getting that saying if you teach a man um if you give a man a fish he'll eat for a day but if you teach him the fish he'll eat for a lifetime so again this is someone gaining new knowledge here okay card number 34 which breaks down to seven which seven is the chariot okay which represents cancer so i said cancer could definitely be involved in this video um but seven also talks about knowledge and then with the chariot that could be the police but that's on the run so there is a masculine energy here that could be on the run for something that they know okay because they could know about someone committing some sort of white collar crime so this 
This could be someone that is trying to get to safety here or needing to get to safety, leaving a situation um, behind them. This could be someone needing to get some sort of documentation here, okay, um, when it comes to them traveling here, okay? So I'm seeing that heavy here. Um, but with this two of pentacles, someone could be juggling with trying to figure out how to do this, okay? Um, someone could be secretly doing this as well with this card number 18, okay? So this could be a king of pentacles that's secretly about to let go of family here, okay? This person or just people that they've had relationships with here, okay? This person is ready to balance out their karma here, okay? They could have, again, been involved in white-collar crimes in the past, or they may have, you know, have some information um, about a white collar crime that they may need to reach out to a police officer and talk to them about, okay, in order to get themselves out of some sort of trouble. Um, again, this is going to bring about some balance. The person needs to get a mentor is what I'm getting, okay? <clears throat> One more with this, well, two more. We got the Ace of Cups here. Ace of Cups, thank you. So we have the King of Cups here. So that is someone who is in tune with their intuition here. We have the King and the Queen of Cups. So there is some sort of union here. There's a marriage here, okay? Um, again, the masculine and feminine. So there's a balance between um, someone's intuition. So someone could be needing to balance themselves out so that their intuition is able to kick out more, kick up more, okay? And then it leads them to the people that are going to help teach them to help Help build help them to build a new home here because this is a home here on this card here is going to open up new doors for them it's going to bring about more stability for them okay they're about to, someone is about to get justice and love here okay and it's because they made the decision to balance themselves out here okay um and to you know stand up for themselves against people who were not being truthful to them okay they were able to see the truth this is someone who who helped get themselves out of some sort of um, trap or prison that they felt like they were in or that they got themselves involved in okay some sort of institution here so with the clock here that lets me know that time is divine timing okay um someone <clears throat> Car number 37, time is coming to an end, okay, on a situation here, all right, this has all the, so someone is manifesting um, justice in a situation here, a king of swords, someone who, again, is, is time for this person to cut, um, cut off things that are no longer serving them here, I got two roosters here, um, roosters usually come out early in the morning here okay and usually i want to say they're they're masculine energies so this is definitely giving me a heavy masculine energy that is you know ready to balance themselves out here okay um again this could be a celebrity that may have been wounded here okay um <clears throat> again may have been involved in a white collar crime they may have information when it comes to a white collar crime here okay this person listen is breaking themselves free with the knowledge that they have okay this person has gained some sort of keys because they balance themselves out because they realize um who needed to go with them to in the future and who needed to stay in the past for them okay um eight of pentacles here this person has been working hard this person took the time to invest in themselves right and that's why they're they're moving to this nine of pentacles here where they are um again taking care of themselves balancing themselves nurturing themselves okay and once you get out of the nine of pentacles all you get is the ten of pentacles which is attracting your um spouse or attracting your happiness attracting your generational wealth so there's a masculine energy that is attracting all of these things okay um this could be someone um who has um gone into that's what this on the run is. It's not necessarily gone into hiding, but this is someone who is hibernating so that they can heal themselves, okay? So that they can truly um, receive justice for some heartache that they may have gone through, dealing with the child, dealing with people around them that may have been stealing from them, um, embezzling from them, okay? Someone who could have been committing fraud against them, okay? So there's a lot of fraud. Um, fraudulent people that was around this person but this person has gained the knowledge to move forward okay um to end and close off these cycles that they needed to close off okay and that was the karma for this person so this is someone that is clearing up their karmic debt here okay so let's get some messages 
from spirit bottom of the deck is the wise so this is someone who's definitely learning more about spirituality um but definitely learning about karma and cleansing their karma okay this is someone who is um definitely doing a lot of studying a lot of learning here um trying to bring about some balance in their lives this is someone who is wanting to level up to this emperor status here okay so they're no longer we got a lot of kings out here king of cups king of pentacles king of swords here um i even look leo is king of wands right so this is an emperor energy someone is standing in their emperor energy here okay um choosing the direction in which they need to go in order to balance out their um to balance themselves out okay to get over any heartbreak that they went through in the past here to make better decisions here okay to be able to be a protector and a provider for their family here okay this is someone who is looking at life with a totally new outlook okay after going through a lot of karmic situations here listen i can't make it up this person's cleaning their life up here okay you see the broom this duster here this person is dusting off old things letting go of old people here okay so let's see card number 21 which is the world so they're ending closing off cycles here closing off um chapters that no longer serve them okay dusting off um things from the past picking up on things from the past that served them here so this is somebody dusting off um you know just dusting old dusting off things that were old that they had left in the past here okay um, so it says getting to the core of a situation, freedom from a burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. Ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home also? Too much work, overwhelmed, time to clean house. Every time out of place matters away, every item out of place matters away at you. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to an unnecessary feeling. Wait a minute. To an unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now's the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. Okay, so like I said, someone is, is about to balance out their karma or cleanse their karma out, okay, um, so that they can move forward so that they're no longer energetically stagnant, okay. Um, this is someone, again, that is moving towards generational wealth here, okay. They're working on themselves. They're working on car uh, healing that karmic debt that they may have been um <clears throat> involved in so this is like beautiful energy for somebody congratulations for you know moving forward with your life wanting better and realizing that sometimes you have to cut the dead weight off right so we got the letter r here okay the letter x is that a, oh <laughs> the letter x the letter h the letter j the letter s the letter o Another O, the letter Z, the letter A, the letter V for violin, oh, wait a minute, V, and the letter I, okay? So let's see, we have Via, so like I said, somebody could be needing to send out some message, somebody could receive a message, okay, via text, via email, via, you know, priority mail here. The letter O. I mean, Joe here. Joe, somebody's name could be Joe. So somebody's is shooing somebody away, telling somebody to get away from them. We have junior here, so this could be somebody could be a junior here or JR. Hmm. 
All right, so that's what I got for you guys. I hope that it brought you some clarity to your situation here, okay? I hope that that healing energy was um, wonderful for you guys out there. I'm going to go ahead and end that Reiki um, energy that was coming to you guys. Remember, you can catch another video where I'll do the Reiki in the beginning. You can book a session or you can join my um, membership channel where I do the free readings for you guys, okay? All right, so thank you again so much for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Until the next video, I love you guys. Bye.